little bit no, more. No, we're here at the about. instructional uh, location. So my partner here, Craig Monroe, can kind of take us through a couple of pointers here on what a hitter needs to do to make sure he gets the bunt down. First off, the proper stance. First of all, do you, let's go back. Before we go to the stance, let's go through the pitch, guys. First of all, you want to get a good pitch that you can bunt. I mean, you want to bunt strikes. And that does make it a lot easier. Now, when everybody in the ballpark knows that you're bunting, the pitcher knows that you're bunting, the proper rule is you want to get a little bend. You want to have a little bend in your knees. Some pitchers, when they're bunting, they square all the way around. This way, for me, that was very uncomfortable. Didn't like that at all. But you just rotate. You rotate. You got a little bend. But notice the bat angle. Notice that the bat angle, bat angle is not flat. I've got a, it's up a little bit, right? Because this is why. I want to get on top of the baseball, and I want to be at the height, I mean, at the top of the strike zone. So if that ball is up, instead of doing what Mikey did last night and, and, and punted that ball up this way, I'm able to not push at it, stab at it, but more catch it. See the angle there? So mm -hmm. here, that's a ground ball that's going to happen right now because I'm above the baseball. This would allow me, first of all, to get the ball down. Now... I just continue to bend at, with the pitch, wherever it's at. I start up high, right? I'm here. I'm getting down low. I'm going to bunt it. I know if, where I want to bunt it. Do I want to bunt it to third? I want to bunt it to first. Well, I'm going to create the angle. If I'm going to third base, JK, right away, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create the angle. That angle there allows me to, even if I wanted to drag bunt, that gets to third. Now, if I wanted to go to the first, you'll watch, guys, instead of pivoting all the way, they'll take that little step back. But look at my angle. I've created the angle. That is going to go to first base. That's really how you're able to get it done. And dead in the baseball. And you're dead. Well, you want to catch it. Well, we call, we call it, you want to catch it. You want to kind of give with the baseball. The other thing in the player's defense, we've got to do a better job in the minor leagues of teaching these guys how to bunt. When you're in the minor leagues, you're a three, you're a four-hole hitter. They want to put, you know, the minor league affiliation, they want to put people in the seats too. So they want to have a team. And they, they guys hit home runs, they drive in runs, and they don't necessarily work on bunting. I think it's a lost art. And then when you get to the big leagues, you're asked to bunt, and guys just don't feel comfortable. It's not that they can't do it. I know you're saying, well, they're big leagues. They should be able to. Well, just like pitching, just like hitting in the cage, you still have to work on it to be an elite bunter. So I just encourage guys to work on bunting in, in the minor leagues. That way, when you come up to the big leagues, you're going to be a seven, eight, nine hole hitter you got to get it laid out of the box. Can execute. That was yeah. good. Yeah. Learned a few things. Just having some fun.